We've heard about the struggles and failures for Disney and specifically ESPN over the last several years, but it was still a little bit of a surprise when we heard that Bob Iger would be willing to sell a partial ownership stake in ESPN for a desperate influx of capital or to find a partner who could help them to build yet another streaming service of sorts specifically for ESPN. Well, it looks like they might have somebody who's willing to go into a partnership with them, but I'm not sure it's the best thing for the sports world. Report, NFL in talks to purchase share of ESPN. So the biggest sports league is now interested in owning part of the biggest sports network. And even now, even with ESPN not being owned by the NFL, you can tell that sometimes they're not as critical as maybe they should be because they've got these relationships they want to maintain, blah, blah, blah. They're not as open and honest, as impartial as they probably should be. Imagine now if the NFL owns part of ESPN. This is the report that came out in New York Post the other day, Andrew Marchand. ESPN, NFL, and advanced talks on agreement that could give league stake in TV giant. ESPN and the NFL are in advanced talks that could result in the league taking an equity stake in ESPN, the Post has learned. As part of a potential agreement, Disney-owned ESPN would take control of NFL media, so everything NFL, including NFL Network, um, and the league would receive equity in ESPN. For the long-term viability of ESPN aligning with the most powerful sports league would enhance its position as network plans move direct to consumer by 2025. This is in the aftermath of so many people cutting the cable cord. That's why they're looking at moving direct to consumer. The idea of all of that moving under the umbrella of NFL Network in general, all moving under the umbrella of Disney and ESPN, this relationship between them, I I think it is a massive problem waiting to happen. Certainly, I understand why Disney would be willing to listen to it, a league that has all this cash, all this potential, all these possibilities. Uh, But Joe Pompliano put it, I, I agree with this assessment here. There are certainly some synergies between an NFL and ESPN partnership. But having content, journalism, and sports betting, again, ESPN bet, housed under the same entity that is partially owned by the NFL, feels like a problem waiting to happen. I, I, I do think this is a bad thing in general. Now, it's not like I think ESPN is some bastion of journalism or anything like that, but imagine how much more insidious it would be in terms of expecting any sort of impartiality at all if the NFL actually owns ESPN, or at least a stake in ESPN. But it seems serious enough that they're actually informing players and things like that of the potential going forward because the CBA would have to be adjusted because of residual, all all these other things, right, would have to happen. So they are actually being informed now that these talks are happening. So this is a real thing. It's actually going on. Whether it's going to you know, advance to the point where it becomes a reality or not, that remains to be seen. But right now, it looks like Roger Goodell and the NFL are looking to take an ownership stake in ESPN. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.